So this is a quick overview of the 1965 Overlander that I'm getting ready to put up for sale. This is out of my personal collection. It's a good trailer. It came out of uh, Central Kentucky. It was stored in a dry place, uh, stored underneath the shed. So there's, you know, the subfloor is really good. The frame is in really good shape. There's a few little spots here or there. Uh, so I'll go over a few of the things that we did um, to update it and then uh, we'll go through all those and I'll show those to you. So this trailer comes with five white wall tires. These are Kendas. They're 15 inch tires. They're uh, new on the market. They're a D-rated tire, so they are trailer tires, but they are radial. They have a two inch white wall. The rims are all new. They're Dexstar, uh, six on five and a half. And uh, these are steel rim, they're brand new. It also has uh, four uh, moon caps on there. The axles are new. They are a Dexter axle and they have a 32.5 drop which gives it a little bit more uh, clearance. The belly pan on this trailer is in really good shape. No major dents, no sagging. Uh, we did have to put in a couple rivets but all in all it's in really good shape. We painted the tongue, primed it, painted it, we put on this new 7-way, ran it all the way to the curbside little access panel, put in a new little 7-way junction box, uh, put all new eyelets on there, made sure all the connections were good. We had to rebuild the, put in a new coupler on here, uh, it's, so it's all nice and tight, ready to go, has nice traction, nice grip. Uh, the exterior has been polished, all the windows have been rebuilt. They were new blazing strips on the outside. They have new ball gaskets on the inside. They all have new uh, crank out regulators. All the screens have been replaced. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that has to do with the windows, but they're nice and tight. They all shut and open. We had to rebuild one of them, but that's not that big a deal. All the markers, uh, excuse me, the tags are new and on the exterior name plates. Um, we had to do a few little patches where the antenna, antennas were because we got rid of those. So let's walk with me and I'll go through some other things that we did. Um, of course I mentioned that the axles and the tires are new. These are the baby moons. Uh, the frame has all been painted and sealed. Uh, it really had no sagging, uh, no, no really rust on the frame as far as like holes or anything like that. Some of the new exterior outlet, uh, all the weather stripping on the doors, little catch here um, has just been replaced. All the marker lights. I like a little bit more of a retro look so I put on teardrops. The original ones were the uh, bean ones, they were the oval ones, but I like the teardrop ones so it really doesn't make that big of a difference. Oh man it's cold. <laughs> Alright step back here. So these on these uh, trailers are always broken. This is the taillight housing. So these are the new aftermarket PVC uh, taillight housings. These are in, riveted in securely. New lenses, new marker lights. These are all been rebuilt and polished. Uh, the uh, exterior skin is in really good shape. You'll have the occasional blemish and I'll show those. I mean, it's not perfect but it's very close to being perfect. You have new tags, you can see the windows. Um, the uh, tag light has been replaced. Get in here. The uh, floor in here, if you want to see in here, there's just one little spot right there where it has just a little rot right in there. All in all, the floor is good. The univolt back there, is not that great so i'd replace that uh, updated the little fuse system here with just uh, regular prong fuses it has a little fuse box common ground these have been labeled um whew, it's cold water pump works um new you know new battery lines so when you put your battery on uh bumper's been painted much to see in here. You see the belly pan. Now there is rust on the tank housing. The thing that actually the galvanized uh, little house shroud that uh, holds the tank in. But 
It's still very cool. Still filming? Yep. Okay. All right, so there is one dent here on this side, which is pretty typical. It's about uh, three and a half inches. This is on the <coughs> road, or excuse me, curbside banana wrap. Uh, I did point out this one earlier. It's about two inches. We'll just say long, a little scratch up there. Uh, you can't see them, but there's a couple little dimples, and you can't see them because of the, the actual snow that's on there. Uh, it's got a little bit of a wave right there, uh, but all in all, we'll back up and you can see the overall profile of the trailer and there's no i'm being really nitpicky really just being really picky there's no uh if you look at the profile there's no wave in it that you can really see the other dent that i uh, need to point out is right here on the roadside again it's like another obviously it was the same vehicle that did it with the same bumper um it's, again it's about three inches and a half basically sistering the other side so somebody uh took the turns a little tight uh up top you've got always have a little bit of uh dents and then these typical you know rivet dents uh one thing i did not mention is that the uh vent cap here this is new this is one of the new pvc vent caps uh that's been put on um let's see oh uh, there's a little ding here little scratch there that's about an inch long uh, let's see. back here and there's one on the roadside uh, no major There's something metal on the back side of this. There's a little uh, pitting right in here on this back hatch. And we'll just say it's about five by five. There could have been a sticker back here at one time or something. Something that would have caused that to uh, have a little bit of pitting. Your back roadside, side, there's a little on your uh, rub rail. It's pulled up just a little bit. Hammer and dolly, you can get that down. Majority of all the wraps along the side are in really good shape. We did replace the uh, refrigerator vent cap with a later model aluminum one. So that's all up to date. The handle uh, is it's uh, the it's missing the center cap. You can get these on eBay. Actually, they still make this model. Uh, it pulls like 15 bucks. Uh, again, this is new ID plate, Overlander marker, these have been rebuilt. So walking around the whole trailer, uh, again I did notice one more right here. I don't have my tape measure on me, but it's probably a good 8 inch line, vertical line. And you really can't see it unless you're right on top of it, believe it or not. So. Other than that, I mean, this skin is in really good shape. So the step works. Alright, so we'll get in here. Um, a lot of the original cabinetry, or the whole trailer is original, uh, has become kind of delaminated in certain areas. Like I said, there is not um, a lot of water damage in this trailer. If you look where We'll switch out, switch spots, James. If you look where James is, um, you can see this floor. This floor is solid here. This has like stains. The only place that it is not solid is right here. And it's got about a nine inch little spot here that where it dripped from up here straight down. Now, this is a new moon cap uh, vent from Vintage Trailer Supply. Uh, we got the actuators working, so it does go up. 
Everything's in working order. Um, all the lights, the 12 volt lights do work. Um, the one thing that some of these have become dislodged, but they all do work. The uh, Gaucho um, little slide out is missing, but I have one uh, parts that I can put in there. The tank is still here. And you can even look here in the front corners. I'll pull this out. Front corner, solid. Front corner over here is solid. Uh, there is one door missing in the kitchen. Uh, the cabinet underneath here, the cabinet base, um, has been lost at one time. It's two weeks to clean the trailer. Um, this has become delaminated a little back here. It's all solid. We don't have jack stands in the back, do we? No. All right. Um, everything back here is good. The closet in here, there's just one little spot back there. I don't know if you can see that. But overall, all the uh, the finishes, the original finishes, will clean up really nicely. Uh, no cracks in the end cap. I know this does work. It does open and shut. The closet in here has one of the original door fronts. The floor in there is in really good shape. It has the original warranty tag here with the serial number, Airstream, and um, the I believe Indian River Trailer Sales. That's where this one was made or sold from. Uh, back here, you have an original roll of toilet paper. <laughs> it's a it's a classic roll. Uh, there's the uh, 110 box. Has two one main and two 20s, and everything's functioning on that. Uh, down there, you can see the original. Univolt, it's a constant volt, and it is a 120, six amp, uh, 20 amp service. But I, you know, this this is not working. You know, it needs to be replaced. It just needs to be updated. All the light fixtures work. We have a couple of the actual um, lenses that are uh, gone, but all this stuff. All these have their original thumb latches. And it's the original Zolotone paint in here. The only thing that's missing is the bunk. is has been taken out. Uh, let me lift up from behind here. This out. This comes up. You can see the floor. Right there, it just has a little bit of weather from the weather stripping other than that has uh, i think all the trays and containers in here so this is a really strong candidate for a risk restore um or you know so many people are buying these and gutting them it's not really my uh, favorite thing i'm not quite a purist but this is definitely a restorable candidate somebody that's good with their hands and good with wood it is a uh... see the nice thing about this little thing is you lift this up and you can get into your top beds there's the old heater and then some of the veneer I've saved up these come down these drop down and then you've got a two level uh, cabinets or trays and most of the little tubs or totes for a seasoned air streamer and people that have gutted these trailers and then get, getting rid of this, big mistake. If you can ever reuse these things and integrate them into your new build, that's the thing to do because when you're packing your Airstream and you're schlepping your stuff inside and outside and there and back, um, these are made to be pulled out, put your groceries and pack your clothes in there. And that way you don't have to like kind of schlep your clothes in. They're already packed. You just put them in there. There, I'm off my soapbox. That won't help sell this trailer, but um, it's, I would say a 95% complete trailer. 
The stove, of course, yeah, it needs to be pulled out of here. Countertops can be resurfaced, but they're in pretty good shape. This cabinet down here needs to be rebuilt. Um, the doors, like I said, they got some lamination issues. Uh, but all in all, the reason I have it is because it is a complete trailer and there's not a lot of work that really needs to be done to get it up to a decent working standard trailer. Uh, somebody could buy this and easily uh, do a few things to it and really have a nice trailer. The exterior, uh, like I said, is ready to go. The windows still has the original curtain holders. Kind of the tie backs, but all new regulators from Vintage Trailer Supply. Even the nylon slides are are um, new. Yeah, those are the slides that are actually in the little hair windows. Um, so that makes it nice. Um, just the get one in and then. So this is a, an example of the win, one of the windows we did rebuild. We went through all of them. This one has two regulators, uh, and we redid the nylon slides. So I'm going to open this one, and then I'm actually going to shut it, and then um, reopen it so I can show you guys a picture of the ball gasket. Uh, most of the windows were still. Um, usable as far as the glass we had to replace about uh, four to five of the actual glass panels so I'm going to go ahead and reopen this one and then uh, I'll hook up an inverter I have so you guys can see the, uh, the actual lights going uh, the only thing we didn't rescreen was the actual door uh, we can do that if the, if the next owner wants that so all the hardware works has a nice little towel right there uh, this is, has the original TV. This is the water pump switch. Um, you've got an outlet up here where the TV probably used to go. Um, it's now sleeting outside. So you can see that we did uh, replace the little ball gasket in the in these windows, and um, you know they're in nice working order. The regulators up here with the nylon glides. So I thought I'd show that to you. All the other windows. So that's about it with this trailer. Um, we will be listing it, uh, advertising it by the middle of the week or sooner. So hopefully, you have any questions, you can let us know. Thanks. Bye.